everyone, it's Kay. Patch notes for 3.13 are out. So in this video, I'm going to focus on stuff that affects Spectre summoners. I've copied the important notes into PowerPoint to make it clear. The big news is a nerf to the Raid Spectre gem. At gem level 20, Spectres will be level 72. This is a loss of 4 Spectre levels. But it gets worse. Natalia confirmed in Russian forum that at gem level 25, Spectres will be level 77. And level 82 at gem level 30. So, there will be 6 levels lower compared to 3.12 highest league. This is a huge nerf. For the Necro Ascendancy, the small passives have lost 5%. So overall, it's a loss of 20% increased damage. This is actually pretty small because it's increased damage instead of more damage. Duration gets a small buff for offerings, but that's enough for temporary minions like spiders, SOS, and phantasms. Oh, and Syndicate operatives don't have the spell tag anymore. I'll talk a little more about that later. Here are some quick numbers to show the nerfs. I added the new JSON to my PUB and edit the cluster jewels data to get the 3.13 numbers. The league starter build has no cluster jewels and takes the minion life notables on the passive tree. Overall, slave drivers lose about 33% of their DPS in life. Krabbies are attack spectres and they get extra damage scaling based on spectre level. Also, the pure spectres build uses cluster jewels, so there's an even bigger drop in DPS in life. It's almost 40%. The DPS loss will make boss fights take longer, but that's not a major problem. Spectres had much less DPS in the past and we were fine. But the loss of life really hurts survivability. As you know, if a spectre dies in a boss fight, it's almost impossible to resummon it in the boss room. So we will need to use tanky spectres in 3.13. They can be hard to get, so get ready to use a spectre bank and also share spectres with other necros. Right now, I think Frost Old Scout might be the best all-round spectre. It's got good damage and survivability. Some other options are Scale of Ash, Templar Tacticians, and Kravis. Syndicate operatives have lost the trigger spell, but GGG didn't mention anything about the shotgun effect. This isn't too bad, because we can just use faster attack instead of spell echo. They might still be a good map clear inspector. I will make a spectre recommendation video after league start. If you didn't know, Phantasm Desecrate could desecrate Kravis in Heist League. However, it was an expensive gem, so not many people knew about it. It seems like GGG has added more special corpses to the gem. This could be great, but I think the gem will be extremely expensive. Maybe we could organize something and share spectres. Pinpoints was actually broken in Heist League. The gem said it didn't support minions, but it worked anyway. I didn't mention it in my guides because I expected GGG to fix it, but they just left it all league and finally fixed it for 3.13. Several small tweaks to the cluster jaws. Overall, there's a small decrease in DPS, but nothing really major. I'm thinking about recommending different cluster notables anyway. High starting in Act 6 is really nice. This means we will get high spectres before maps. Random chance to get Harvest Garden is nice. 
Hopefully, we can work together to share Krabby's as soon as possible. We will also be able to craft some nice helmets again. Overall, I can build around the nerfs, but we will definitely have less DPS than before. Spectre recommendation will change. If that's okay for you, then no worries. I will update all Spectre guys for 3.13. And I will be making a new minion instability build for SRS and Skellies. Okay, that's it for the patch notes review. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching! Bye!